Hi, my name is Sean Bianca and I'm GOP girl in the middle of a hurricane. Hurricane Matthew in South Florida. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to do this. Did a video earlier, but unfortunately I did it from my homepage instead of clean TV. So while I have a connection, I want everyone to read my latest blog, The Cost of Syrian Refugees to You. I think a lot of people still have some friends that are on the fence. People that don't want to vote or because they don't like Hillary and they don't like Donald Trump. And then we have people that we know that feel they want to support a complete crook. So I encourage everyone to send this blog on because I did not know that America, which has close to a $20 trillion deficit, I didn't know we had enough money to just hand out $20,000 to Syrian refugees. Yes, that's what we are currently doing. And at the rate we're going, well already we're spending over $200 million a year on the Syrian refugees. Hillary Clinton wants to increase our intake by 550%. She actually came out today saying she wanted to allow 1.3 million in. Now, you read my blog, I have the figures there, but of course, refigure those figures because if she wants to allow if she wants to allow 1.3 million, um that's a lot of money. And I'm sorry, but we have a country that has people that can't afford health care. We have a military that has been depleted to the smallest it's been since pre-World War II. And we have our veterans that are not getting the health care that they need. We have Americans without jobs. Oh, there's another one. I didn't know we had enough jobs around to go around to allow over a million Syrian refugees, which by the way, Let's talk about the refugee crisis. Hillary and Obama created the Syrian refugee crisis because of their failure to step up to the plate and do anything when Assad chose to use chemical weapons on the Syrian people. The Syrian refugees are the fault of Obama and the fault of Hillary Clinton. It's not our problem. While that may sound sound cold and I've had a lot of arguments with liberals about that. It's not that I'm cold. I'm not cold at all. But I think you have to ask yourself, why are we taking in thousands right now? We've taken in 12,000 Syrian refugees. In total, we've taken in 95,000 refugees this year. But why are we taking these people in when we can't afford our own? Why are we taking these people in when the five wealthiest nations in the Mideast will not accept a one? They won't accept a one because the five wealthiest nations in the Mideast fear ISIS will be within them. And they will. Quickly, a lot of people don't know the facts, but 198 Syrian refugees went to an island in Greece. Only four of them have been reported to have pledged their allegiance to ISIS. While that four was only 2%, that 2% killed 130 people in France. Now, at the rate Hillary Clinton's going, she wants to allow over a million Syrian refugees. 2% is, I believe, around 1,300. If we do that, I may be wrong, or did I do that on another figure? You'll have to pardon me. I've been re getting ready for a hurricane all day. Anyway, around 1,300 Syrian refugees. Do you think they could kill a lot of Americans? I think so. Yeah, I think so. You know what? I propose where Hillary and Obama feel so badly about the Syrian refugee crisis. Well, I mean, Hillary, she's friendly with the Syrians. She's friendly, yes, she's friendly with the radical Islamists. I think she should use her money, considering she's worth over $200 million. 
I think she should use her money and I think Obama should do the same and I think they should set up a safe haven in one of the countries that they've uh, received money from. What do you think? I think it's a fine idea. By the way, that October surprise that Julian Assange didn't come out with, just quickly, I want to give everyone a little bit of info on that because a lot of people didn't pick up on it because they were tired. I believe the info that Assange was going to leak was that Hillary Clinton herself had funded radical Islam and the Islamic State. They made note of it before the big, the big press conference. But then, because Assange was probably threatened, he didn't come out with the actual big October surprise that I'm, <laughs> I don't know about anyone else, but I wanted to strangle Julian Assange that night because I was up until five o'clock in the morning and had to go to work early. Um, but think about it. Just, can you imagine if Donald Trump had done what Hillary Clinton did? Hillary Clinton said she'd like to send a drone to take out Julian Assange. She was basically calling for the assassination of Julian Assange. If Donald Trump had done the same, the Democrats would be all over it and would be calling for him to step down. And yet, Hillary Clinton remains. The woman just Basically, no, she didn't basically, but the woman called for the death of a man. And yet this woman still wants to run for president and the Republicans are even allowing her to do so. I, I, I don't get it. I mean, imagine. Anyway, people, I, I have to say, I've been getting into a lot of debates lately. A lot of debates with people that don't want to support Donald Trump. And a lot of debates, I don't mean people that I actually speak to that I know. I'm talking on Twitter. Very angry lot. Liberals, very angry. Very angry, very bitter. They have a chip on their shoulder. I mean, you get into some of these debates on Twitter. And, I mean, I have never been called to see you next Tuesday. I have been called to see you next Tuesday on Twitter by many liberals. Anyway. Just want to, just have to say this. I actually know someone who went to both the Democratic National Convention and the Republican National Convention. She said when she went to the Republican National Convention, it was a happy lot and people were, they, the energy was good and it was, it, it was a great, a great convention and you know, the, the per performances or everything, you know, all of the speeches were great. The energy was great. The people were happy. The people were laughing. People were having fun. When she went to the Democratic convention, she said everyone was angry. Everyone had a chip on their shoulder. Everyone was argumentative. And I have to ask, liberals, what are you so angry about? You've had the White House for eight years. I mean, why are you so angry? And there's no need to call me and see you next Tuesday. I mean, you can think what you want, but why don't you fight me with facts? And that's just the point, people. The Hillary Clinton supporters don't have facts. They don't have anything to fight with other than to fight with their crude, classless mouths and to insult the Republicans and the independents that choose to vote for Donald Trump. Donald Trump will lower taxes for everyone. Hillary Clinton will raise taxes for everyone. Donald Trump will allow us to keep our guns. Hillary Clinton wants to take away our guns. And that is the truth. And by the way, every country that has had their guns taken, they, the countries have ended up with mass genocide taking place. It's been proven. And being that Hillary kind of called for the assassination of Julian Assange, I don't think we want to take that chance. Anyway, everyone, um, those of you who are in Florida, stay safe. 
those of you who are riding out the hurricane and everyone I encourage you to read my blog that I posted on here as I have all the facts all the figures America cannot afford Syrian refugees so everyone vote Trump and everyone get on Twitter so that you can back me up and help me go after those liberals and those independents that still haven't hopped on board the Trump train. Vote Trump. Be safe, everyone. This is Sean Bianca with Clean TV Live. Until next time.